Uh, well, this, this conference for us is extremely important for a number of reasons. Uh, we are the department dealing within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the international public goods, which means uh, food security, climate, energy, natural resources uh, and uh, water. And uh, we realize more and more that uh, we are not only talking about making sure that we uh, achieve, for example, the SDGs, that we realize the SDGs in all these areas, but that these, all these issues, all these sectors also have a very important geopolitical dimension. That uh, it's one to provide as many people as possible with access to clean water, to energy, to renewable energy, to, to, you know, to the international public goods. But at the same time, we also have to realize that there are more and more scarce, scarcities in the world and that climate change has an incredible impact on all these on people and that means that people are moving around and we've heard already many examples at this conference. So basically what we're trying to do as Ministry of Foreign Affairs is not only, let's say, perform our normal tasks of trying to spend our ODA well in these sectors, but also look much more at the political dimension of these new scarcities of climate change. And we are very happy that we were able to organize this conference uh, also as Netherlands, because of course as Netherlands we have a very specific position on this, since we are uh, meeting in this uh, beautiful uh, peace palace here in The Hague, which of course is kind of a symbol of everything that has to do with the international legal system, with uh, let's say the, 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 the legal position of people, and uh, d which also of course is a very dimension of this, uh, this uh, geopolitical discussion linked to climate. So for all these reasons, we are very happy that it was possible to realize this conference and to bring all these experts from all over the world to discuss with each other for two days to see if we can come up with some solutions. Well, first of all, uh, what we would hope, what we want to achieve with this conference is first of all to establish a podium where every year, because we really hope that this is only the first of a series of annual conferences on this topic, first of all, we hope to provide a, a forum where experts from all over the world will exchange views, will exchange experiences, because we realize that by doing that, we will be much more effective in what we do. So this is one. And two, of course, we hope that on certain conflicts, and we have some very specific discussions, it will be possible by strengthening the link between, on the one hand, think tanks, academia, and on the other hand, people who are on a daily basis, let's say, performing foreign policy, to establish these linkages to strengthen what we are doing in the real world in terms of trying to, to solve these problems, or at least to, to try to, to make them a bit less, uh, less violent and so on. Uh, because you do see that, on the one hand, there is a tremendous amount of literature about this subject of climate change and the geopolitical dimension. But on the other hand, you see that also policymakers are not always realizing all, all, all the research that has been done. And researchers, once in a while, could take a bit more care, more, more into account the reality, the day-to-day -day reality of what can be achieved. So in that sense, by bringing these together, we hope to strengthen and the think tank side of things, so the research and the day-to-day -day po political uh, reality, let's say. So th th that's basically our main hope for this conference.